Hey, it's me, Zanov, and welcome back to the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Anniversary Edition Legendary Difficulty Survival Mode Playthrough. How are we doing, ladies and gentlemen? I'm doing pretty good myself. I am caffeinated. I've had my French toast. I've gone for my morning walk. I am ready to go. Ready to go. I am not a fan of the sun either, Serana. Uh, what we're getting on with today is we're continuing the Dawn Guard questline. If you missed the previous episode, we got Auriel's bow, and now. We are going to take it to Lord Harkon. I believe that's where the quest marker is. Let's have a quick little thing. Yeah, here we go. Kindred judgment with Oriel's bow in my possession. It's time to confront Harkon and reshape the prophecy as I see fit because I am Thorin Veralt and I'm all powerful, all knowing, being controlled by Zanov the YouTuber. <laughs> I don't even know where I was going with that. But yes, we are confronting Harkon with Oriel's Bo and my goodness was I like I was at the start of this episode and I was like looking at all the quests we have activated and there's just a certain beauty in being so overwhelmed and so much stuff to do and it's it's there's a beauty in it but there's also a trap because there is like you you can easily look at your quest log and just be like oh gosh there is just so much stuff to do I'm so overwhelmed and then you just do none of it the trick is is to just activate a quest and just continue on just keep on trudging along just keep on going on because believe me I was looking at I was looking at all the quests I had then and I was like trying to figure out hey what do I want to do for this episode what do I do want to do for that episode and maybe this episode and in the future I can do this and I can do that and I'm just like oh my goodness there's so many quests but it's also so good because I'm never going to run out of stuff to do in any case let's go have a chat to Lord Harkon who seems to be in the Volcahar Cathedral Seeming a little bit cinematic. Hmm. Let's have a look. See, just gonna have a so sip of my coke, no sugar. You've returned. Is your pet keeping you entertained? You know why. Wow, so condescending. Of course I do. You disappoint me, Serana. You've taken everything I provided for you and thrown it all away for this. Pathetic half-breed vampire. Oh my goodness. Provided for me? Are you insane? You've destroyed our family. You've killed other vampires all over some prophecy that we barely understand. No more. I'm done with you. You will not Heck touch yeah. me. So, I see this dragon has fangs. Your voice drips with the venom of your mother's influence. How alike you've become. No, because unlike her, I'm not afraid of you. Not Hell anymore. yeah. And you. It appears I have you to thank for turning my daughter against me. I knew it was only a matter of time before your ambition outgrew your loyalty. Man, all I did was quests. I was never... I... <laughs> <laughs> All I did was the quests. I'd never I never had any harsh feelings towards you. I thought maybe what you were doing was a bit wrong, but I was never like, hey, you're a terrible, terrible guy. And there you are, more than just throwing shade, calling me a pet, all that kind of stuff. Like, what the heck, man? <laughs> What's going on? All right, well, uh, you've just earned yourself a few, uh, a few thousand little uh, dagger cuts. <laughs> I hope you're ready. Loyalty, you never intended to let me live. A small price to pay for the betterment of our kind. <coughs> oh my bad. I didn't think I'd have to talk again so shortly, so I started like sculling. I started trying to sip really quickly. My uh, cake, no sugar, and it got stuck in my throat. <coughs> my bad. <laughs> And here I am, just absolutely throwing the biggest, uh, biggest insult because he considers me a half breed, and I'm gonna say you're an insult to our kind. Get that up, oh, ya! Oh come now, spare me your notions of kinship. You've simply used Serana in an attempt to take away what should rightfully be mine. No. I'm here to prevent our annihilation. Ah, I see you've been speaking to Valerica, and she's convinced you that Eternal Night will plunge us into war with daytime dwellers. If only it were so. With the world in shadow, we would never tire, never weaken, more than a match for their pitiful armies. 
Hmm, what to say? Does he say anything else if I just go dot, 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 or... I don't think he will. I think he'll just say I'm pathetic because I couldn't even think of something to say. So we're going to say enough of this. Yes, quite. I'm growing weary of speaking to you and my traitorous daughter. I'll give you a single chance to turn over the bow to me. There will not be a second. <laughs> yeah, because I'm just going to... Uh, after all the things you've said and how you've insinuated that you are very much going to want to get rid of me or be rid of me after this, yeah, I'll definitely give you the bow because I'm just... Uh, no, no, never. Never. Very well, then. You leave me no choice. As if you're going to do anything different, you little liar. Okay, let's smack him. Let's smack him with a bit of these. Let's get healing in our hand. Actually, no, let's get... Let's get some of this going. No, no. Let's get some of these guys going. Let's see how you fare. We'll, actually, no, we'll just keep it with one. We'll keep it with one. Let's see how you fare against some of these boys. After they smack you in the face. Or they smack you around with their dangerous great sword of the Inferno. I don't reckon you'll be doing too well. Unhanded increase to 93. We'll get it to 95, and then I'm going to switch over to two-handed and start leveling that, I think. We'll start getting that beast going, which will be so much fun. I'm so I'm actually so excited to switch over to two-handed. I'm so excited just to grow this character out. Oh, man. Lord Harkon. I, I dislike your ability to just get away from me. I want to just keep on... I want to just keep on imbuing you with little cuts from my Daedric Dagger. Here we go. Bang. You can do nothing to me. You can do nothing to me. Let's go third person. And there he goes, disappearing again. Now I'm going to heal myself. And do I do this? Nope. Let's hit you as well. Nothing. What is this continuous uh, little bubble effect going I got on me? I don't, I don't know what's going on. Um, how do I... What am I doing here? Ah, oh, the bow. Yes, yes, yes. I had a feeling I had to use the bow, but I was like, yeah, I don't want to don't wanna waste any arrows if I don't have to. Will it be, will it work with normal Falmer arrows, or will I need an actual... Ah, oh, good. I don't need any other arrows except for the Falmer ones. Good. Don't need to waste the good ones. Let's go back to our Daedric Dagger and Destruction slash Healing in our left hand. Lord Harkon, ah, oh, you're all the way back up to full health, you little cheater. Come here, come here, come here. You can't do anything to me. You can't do anything to me. You know how strong I am? Go on, Jamora Lord. Smack him. Smack him around a little bit with that Daedric Great Sword of the Inferno. I'm just going to... Oh, you know, he disappears again. Where have you gone? No, you're not going back up there to your big little bubble sanctuary thing where nobody can hurt you. Gosh, I can't believe he got all the way back up to full health. Hopefully, uh, I can't remember this. I don't remember this fight super well. Hopefully, that's not a continuous thing. That would be unfortunate, slash annoying, slash I just want to kill him. <laughs> I don't want to have to keep on dealing with him at full health because he just keeps on going into that little protective bubble. And he's disappeared before I can get a second swing off. Where are you? Ah, oh, there he is. I'm blind. Oh, he fights as the mortals do on the ground. Let's see how well that goes for you, buddy. Pretty sure I... Ah, uh, and you disappear again. I've got half a mind to turn to a vampire lord just to just to kill you in your own form and be like, huh, huh, the half-breed gotcha. The so-called half-breed that you were so... Oh, Serana, please. I'm trying to kill your dad. <laughs> the half-breed you were so disrespectful to, and then I kill you in your own form. I kill you in your own thing. You know that... You know how you were a king however long ago, and you had all these people, and you were a lord or whatever, and then you went to Molech like Baal, you put yourself through a lot, you put your daughter and your wife through a lot, and you got this cool form, and then you gave it to me, and then I killed you with it. That would be a poetic ending for me. In fact, I might do that, but I'm going to get you down first. I'm going to get you way down, way, way down, and then you're going to turn into a perk point. That is exactly, that is all you will be is a perk point. And there you are. Are you back up there again? No? Gosh, you are taking a bit. I will give you that. I will give you that, Lord Harkon. I don't mind it because you're definitely good for my one-handed. But I've got a feeling I'm going to need to pull out a second Dramora Lord because you just keep on taking the health from these guys. And, uh, yeah. Okay, I'm feeling like, I'm feeling like what I might do 
We'll keep going with this dagger. But if I get to 95, super... Okay, now he's no longer getting health from us. I'll either... We'll, we'll hit him for a bit longer. We'll get this uh, one-handed to 95. But if it like keeps going for a crazy amount of time, I will just go to destruction and start absolutely smashing... Where did he go? There he is. And start absolutely smashing him with our dual casting spells. And then go Vampire Lord and finish him off. Come on now. I just want to get his health down just a little bit. Just a little bit more. No, stop getting your health back, you annoying, annoying thing. Stop it. Kill. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him now. Gosh. He's like dual wielding the blood magic. He's got the continuous one going and he's got that big explosion thing. Okay, we're just going to have to... You've done it now, Harkon. You've done it now. Bang. 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 Get absolutely annihilated. Wherever you want. There you are. Nah. Nope. Getting straight out with the bow. Nah. Nope. You've done it now. You've worn me too thin. I would have liked to have taken you down in a much more better professional type way. But you've just... You've done me dirty. You just keep on healing yourself. You're getting annoying to deal with. So I'm going to destroy you very quickly. Here we go. Nah. 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 None of that. None of that. Here we go. Get absolutely destroyed. Nah, 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 nah. We're not playing this no more. You've done it. You've annoyed me. You've pushed me too far. You've become so annoying. I'm just killing you. No respect. No respect for you. There was no real respect anyway. Hey, you invisible little coward. You're doing the you're doing the Zarnov. <laughs> you coward. Come here. Stop stop what you're doing right now, buddy. Come on, come here, come here. <laughs> you absolute coward. What is going on? Why can't I hit him? Is he just in, like, misform so I can't hit him? Is he glitched? Ah, oh, there he is. Where have you gone? What the heck? Oh, there you are. Okay. Just hold still for me. Hold still for me. Okie dokie. Now what we're going to do, we're going to give him the ultimate, the ultimate kick in the, uh, in the giblets. We'll call him the... <laughs> just trying my best to keep it YouTube friendly, I guess. I don't want to get... I don't want to have any strikes against me, so we'll kick it. We'll give him the ultimate kick in the giblets, and that is going to be this bad boy right here. Hopefully, we don't die while we're trying to turn, but I'm going to kill him in his own form. Come here, buddy. There can only be one. Up we go. Blood magic out. Prepare to be a perk point. No, no, no. I'm taking your health, not the other way around. Ah, this is incredibly slow. <laughs> this is a oh jeez, this isn't even good. I'm about to die. Um, 50 points to health magicka. I thought I already got these perks. Maybe I got them and then didn't. Um, killing a person with a power attack bite restores all of your health. Night powers and bite. Yeah, we'll get that as well. I thought I already got these perks, but I must have been... I must have uh, done it and then died. That's more than likely what has happened. Um, yeah, this is looking like a bad way to do it because we're actually dying pretty quickly. Okay, now we're in a better spot now, but this is killing him really slowly. Too slowly for my liking. I might just turn back into Thoran Varolt and just destroy him with destruction, because this is... Oh, this is uh, this is taking a bit. <laughs> this is taking a lot longer than I would have liked. We got our health back, though, so we're doing... We're looking all right. We're sitting kind of pretty. Just got to hope he doesn't start getting his own health back, because we are not doing enough damage to him to actually get him down and kill him. Yeah, this is... This is... Wow, this is really weak, actually. Okay. <laughs> Change of plans. Back to Thor and Verolt we go. We're going to have to do something about the lack of power that we have as a vampire lord. There we go. Turn me back. And let me come down here. There we go. And back to these bad boys. Let's just kill them. I've had enough of toying you with you, Harkon. Even on Legendary Survival Mode, that is exactly what I've actually been doing, funnily enough, is toying with you. You like to think that you're all powerful and all whatnot and the chosen whatever the, the, you, you think you're eating a bit is what I'm trying to say and I've been basically playing with you this whole time this I am not at all and there he goes that looked like a really good thumbnail opportunity that I missed <laughs> <laughs> oh well, <laughs> dang it. Okay, search Lord Harkon's ashes. Let me search him, please. Oh. Now that's done. What will you do now?
I'm not sure. I'll probably stay here for as long as they'll let me. I think we can rebuild here. Make my family's legacy something more respectable. Of course, if you've got any more adventures planned. Oh, Serana. I would love to have you along. That's exactly what I was going to say, and I didn't even have to didn't even have to read it for <laughs> I don't think they'll involve you. What kind of what kind of terrible person would say something like that? I'd love to have you along, Serana. That's what I wanted to hear. Oh, that was the only thing you were ever going to hear from that. Um, and there we go. I think that's it for Serana. And we have just completed Dawnguard. And now I'm going to guess this lovely man Lord has something Hark to say. Defeated. I never imagined I'd see the day. Especially from my your lady, newest member. You have my deepest sympathies. I am sure this was not easy for you. <clears throat> it's out of control, Garen. It had to be done. I'm not happy about this. He... He was still my father. But I suppose my father really died a long time ago. This was just the end of something else. Of course, my dear. All will be well now. Anything for me? No? Uh, okay, well, I guess I'll talk to you myself. I saw more than enough political maneuvers. Okay, okay, well, you got nothing unique stress. to say. Boring. Blah. No, I think he has more stuff to say once we leave this place, but oh, golly gosh, am I glad it's done. And look at this bad boy Harkon's sword. And it's got a very cool uh, hilt there as well. If you guys have not noticed that before, I believe it is intentional. It's supposed to be in the you know shape of a H there for Harkon. Uh, absorbs 15 points of health, magicka, and stamina if wielded by a vampire. Guess what we are, ladies and gentlemen. Guess what we are. <laughs> yes, there is nothing funny about that. We're just vampires. Let's take the <laughs> let's take that. Let's take the black soul gem, potion of blood, uh, solution of regeneration. That looks pretty good, actually. Take that, and we're over encumbered. Why wouldn't we be? Magic resistance by 17%. That's okay. Imminent Destruction, that's okay. Uh, Ring of Stamina, that's decent. Um, yeah, and Vampire Royal Armor, we already have it, but uh, might as well chuck it on, I guess. 125% faster, I mean, that's not bad at all, really. And the armor rating's pretty good, too, actually, 41. That's pretty good, it's a pretty good armor. Uh, yeah, we already have one, but I'm going to take another one, because they're pretty, it's, it's pretty decent. Serana, if I give this to it? you, I'd like to trade some things with you. I think it'll help. Yeah, uh, I just want you to wear really quickly. Now, it might be a little bit weird. I just really want to see you wearing uh, your 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 dad your dad's clothes real quick. Oh, please put them on. It would be so funny. Unless she already is wearing. I think she might, or that might be what it looks like for the female. She might already be wearing them. Dang it! Oh well, oh well. Yeah, it looks like that might be the case. Um, what else can we give you? Let's give you these as well. Uh, I really didn't want you to put those on. They really don't suit you. <laughs> I really, really did not want you to put those on. Oh, well, we'll take them back off her because she's just acting as a uh, portable chest for us right now. But there you go. That is the Dawn Guard DLC. Done and done. I think there's, I mean, there's more stuff within the Dawn Guard. There's nothing in that chest. There's more stuff within the Dawn Guard to do, but. That is the Dawn Guard uh, main quest line done. You've killed Harkon. You are basically the the, uh, the the so we are basically Lord, Lord Thoran Veralt right now. Well Let's talk to him now. Well met, brother. Something on your mind, Garen. Now that the castle is yours, I was wondering. Yes. Would you be interested in having the passage to the courtyard restored? Harkon clearly never cared much for it. Yes, please see to it at once. It would be my pleasure. Thanking you, that would be great. So essentially what that does, uh, are we going to end here or something? Okay, I guess I'm going to back out. If you'll excuse me. Yeah, yeah, you're excused, 100%. Uh, I don't know why you kind of just kept looking at me and kept me in the dialogue. <laughs> So yeah, what that's going to do, uh, wow, we have no food. This is, this is a huge problem, actually. Uh, now that he will clear up that uh, passageway he was just talking about, we'll have easy access to, like, kind of run straight through and get to the soul can without too much troubles. Let's talk to you, Vindalmo. Hello there. Uh, May mortals quake at your approach. Do you have anything to say? Mm -hmm. I'm guessing I might have accidentally skipped over it. Let's go talk to Orthiop, see if he has anything to say for us now that we are the Lord. What's what you're doing? 
Excuse you, do you know who you're talking Don't to? Get in my way, and I won't tear your arms off. Simple, isn't okay, it? Okay, you don't All know right, you then. don't know who you should be scared of, my friend. I, I think you might not be aware of uh of the absolute massacre that just ensued in the Volkaha Cathedral where I uh I uh kinda took over this whole place. So you're my underling now, actually. I Arkham can call you my pet and all that other kind of thing. In his lust for power, he failed to consider the full consequences of his plans. Indeed, Dexion. This is why I like Once you, Dexion. Again, the Elder Scrolls have proven their value. Exactly. This is why I like you, Dexion. This is why I keep you around. You're a good time. You're a good time, man. Okay, let's... Uh, what we're going to do now, after we have killed Harkon, we are going to be bringing... This, where is it? Discerning the Transmundane, bring blood to Septimus Cygnus. Because as I said, I was going to let that quest kind of just sort itself out, complete itself. We would just, you know, play the game in the background. When that quest completed itself, we'd be good to go. And guess what happened? That quest completed itself and we're good to go. So I'm going to be going over and talking to Septimus Cygnus and seeing what he has to say now that we have all the bloods from all the elves collected and he should be a happy, happy man indeed. Now what we're going to do is I could, I could uh, get out Nightmare or I could do this. And I don't know why I haven't been doing this more often. Because I'm pretty sure this is an extremely quick way. Excuse me while I have a little quick sip of my Coke No Sugar. Ah, oh, delicious, delicious. Love the chemicals. <laughs> yes, this is an extremely quick way to travel over the water. This should cut down our travel time quite a lot. I don't know why I haven't been doing this. I've been quite a fool to not been doing this. Yeah, I don't know what to say for myself. I've just been foolish. But this is definitely the much quicker uh, mode of travel. Also, for my subscribers, for my viewers, and for the, the lurkers that are, you know, doing the age-old Zarnov that I used to do, where I'll just watch and watch and watch and not subscribe, and please subscribe, please. I, I was about to talk about something else, but if you're, if you're watching and enjoying the content, and you're following along, and you've, I mean, if you've gotten this far, and you're up to episode 64 or whatever, I would... I would imagine you're enjoying the content. I would imagine that, you know, you want to subscribe, but there's just something about you. It's just, there's just something there that's not, it hasn't quite, it hasn't, I haven't quite hooked you and just brought you in all the way, right? And right now I'm just asking, this is your invitation, just to, just to take that mouse button and just, just hover over it and then click. And that's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. You would make me the happiest, the happiest design of there ever was. It would give me all the warm and fuzzy wuzzy feelings in my tummy. But in any case, what I was originally getting, uh, what I was originally going to start talking about is plans for the future. Um, one thing I really want to get into, and this is something that's, I would say, a little bit more difficult to get into because you really need to have quite a following, is uh, streaming. Whether it be on Twitch or on YouTube, I would love to start uh, doing some streaming of some of some games, uh, obviously Skyrim being one of them. Uh, how we would incorporate that? I could do like a, like an uh, an episode slash you know stream like on Twitch or on YouTube or whatever, and then cut it up or whatever, and then post it to YouTube as well, and do that once every so often, or just play completely separate games on stream as well would also be the idea. Um, but just kind of yeah, just just having the two modes where I can communicate with you guys. Uh, or, or everyone that's watching me directly as well. I think that's the thing I would enjoy the most about like that, that's the thing that entices me the most about streaming is just being able to communicate with you guys directly instead of uh, through video format. Obviously the videos are done in advance yada yada yada. The comment sections are still good. They're still great. I'm still having a great time communicating with you guys down there for when you guys drop by and say hello or whenever you use uh, you know, um, giving me like helpful recommendations or tips or anything like that, answering a question I have in the video. I'm still, I still really do enjoy uh, those interactions, but I feel like the direct interaction that a stream would offer, I think I'd enjoy it a lot more. And I think some of you guys would also enjoy that format as well. So that's um, something that is in the works that I do want to start doing. Uh, will, when I will start doing it, I do not know because obviously there is a problem of I'm not very big right now I don't have a I don't have a super huge you know um, 
you know, I don't have a huge uh, following that w I could just make a post on YouTube and be like, hey, I'm streaming now and then have like a decent viewership over on the stream, if you know what I mean, which is kind of what you need, I would say. You, you need, you want to have like a little, a little community going while you're doing your stream, while you're doing your thing. So it's, uh, it's, on, it's on the back burner, but I kind of just wanted to throw it out there to see what you guys think about that. And then also, you know, if you guys would like that and, you know, what your thoughts are on it in general. How do you think I should go about it? If I should just start it up, just just go. Just go full gung-ho for it and the people will come as they come or wait a little bit until, um, until I grow a bit more on YouTube and then start offering, like, streams as well as, like, alternate sources of content. Because... And just to go, just to like give you guys like uh, a bit of confidence as well, the streams would be like in addition to what I'm already doing on YouTube. So it wouldn't be like a, I'm streaming now, so I won't upload today, or I'm doing this, so I won't upload, or I've uploaded, so I won't stream. It would be entirely in addition to the uploads. So the uploads would keep happening. There would just also be a stream on during whatever day as well you know for you guys to tune into if you had the extra time or if you wanted the the distraction or if you just wanted it you know playing in the background while you did your own thing you know i am more than happy to be that person for you guys so yeah just wanted to throw it out there just wanted to let you guys know what's on my mind what my future plans are um and keep you guys in the loop because ultimately i think everything kind of will just work better if you guys are also made aware of what i'm doing you know what to look out for you know, just because now you guys obviously have that information, you can be on the lookout for when a stream will inevitably come up and you'll, you'll, you'll know what my thoughts are about what was going through my head before I did it, blah, 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 blah. You guys are just, I, I like the idea of keeping my community in the loop with what it is I'm doing instead of just, you know, I don't know, you guys not knowing what to expect. I guess I, I've been left out of the loop before in a lot of different things in life and it's always it's it's almost universally always better to be kept in the loop and to know what is happening when you've got a certain interest or emotional investment or anything like that in something it's always better to know what is going on and what the trajectory is for that thing and yada 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 wow z's this is taking a while <laughs> Did I? I think I definitely under it. Yeah, there's the car. Oh, there's the College of Winterhold all the way over there. This is taking so much longer than I thought because my stamina is not coming back either. This is just a bad, bad time. I was thinking this was going to go away. I thought this was going to happen so quickly. I thought this was going to be over and done with, you know, in the blink of an eye. But it is not at all turning out to be the case. Uh, this is a lot of travel time. I think where I got confused was I was thinking that Septimus Cygnus's outpost was like, I, I, for some reason, I imagined where I was in Solitude on the map and like where I was in relation to Solitude. So like a little bit more over to the left and more up north. And I was like, I don't know, for some reason, I placed Septimus Cygnus's outpost north of Dawnstar instead of north of Winterhold. And I think that's where we've, uh, I think that's where we've, we've, we've uh, had a big oopsie because <laughs> I thought I was a lot closer than what I actually am. And that is what's resulted in this, um, this, this very elongated amount of travel time. But again, you know, I'm trying to not cut out the travel time. I know that people do enjoy it and, you know, kind of just have it there. Like it's just, it's just extra content. Anything could happen along the way. And it's just much more, uh, together, I guess you could say as a way of trying to put it like it's not chopping and changing and everything like is chopping and changing all the time. Although that can be like an alluring style of video to have, I think it kind of works against you in a playthrough. I think the, the exploration itself is what's so nice. But I mean, like, just look at this, this right here. I mean, I've never just been floating. <laughs> I think I can genuinely say this is, I'm going to make a save here, by the way. I can genuinely say this is the first time I've just been floating around the whole north of Skyrim as a vampire lord. Just just, just floating on the water, seeing all these icebergs. It's really, really nice scenery, to be honest. It is really, really nice scenery. It's a, it's a really, like, kind of cool thing to do that, again, you know, if it, was, if it was not survival mode, I would have just jumped straight out of Castle Volcahar and just blipped right over to Septimus Cygnus. And for that, you know... Pros and cons. There's pros and cons to everything. There's a double-edged sword. There's pros and cons to everything. Pro being, um, I'm just getting straight on with the quest and just hammering down quests and getting quests done and whatnot. And, you know, that in itself can be great. 
con being, you know, you just don't experience other elements of the game like this. Just experiencing how open Skyrim is. Just this, the whole north part of this world that I've, as I can say, I've, I've, n I've never just floated al along here as a vampire. Um, as a vampire lord. And, you know, as I said, pros and cons to it. This isn't something I could do all the time. Like, <laughs> this isn't something that I would, uh... Like, but it's good for a one-off, is what I'm saying. It's good for a one-off just to be able to chill out, just head in the direction that you need to go, float on the water, take in the scenery that you never get to truly, really appreciate. That is Skyrim. Even after all these years, there's still things that you do that you'll do in a playthrough that you haven't done in other playthroughs. And that's what really is amazing about Skyrim, to be honest, is there's just that much stuff to do. Like, it's just... It is so, so good. Um, another thing that I do want to be doing is getting on with Creation Club content as well. Um, I've kind of... Like, I've been... I've been doing it. Like, there's there's a lot of Creation Club content that we've done on this playthrough so far, but I also am aware that there is more Creation Club content that I am kind of just missing because I haven't come across it yet organically. And because I'm not aware... Like, I've, I've seen, like, little snippets of certain things here and there. That's how I know I'm missing some stuff. But I haven't, like, gone and looked up directly, like, how to do this because I was kind of hoping that you'd just kind of come across it organically in the playthrough or, or, or that I would just not... Not that you would just, but I would just come across it organically in the playthrough. And to a large, you know, to, to a good degree, that is that has been what's happening so far. But I'm also aware that there is more to do. And I do intend on uh, doing more of those things. Even if I do get to a point where I'm like, ah, I'm just not coming across it organically or naturally. And I really do want to experience it in this playthrough. So I just kind of, I might get to a point where I look it up and um, see how it is I go about activating or starting certain things. Well, not at that point yet, but that is like a, that is a thing I'm aware of. And that is a thing that um, we might eventually have to look at doing. Just obviously completely depending on how long it takes for me to come about it or if I do or don't come about it organically. But uh, yeah, the, the trajectory that I want to take this playthrough in right now is uh, after going to Septimus Cygnus and getting our uh, and completing this little this little side tangent quest, uh, we will be. Mm, now nah, I'll just leave it. I'll just leave it for the next episode. You guys will find out. You guys will find out. You guys will find out. You will find out. And will you love it? Will you hate it? I don't know. I think I'm gonna love it. Uh, as I said, because uh, it's pretty a, a lot of the stuff in Skyrim for me right now is pretty fresh it's been a little bit since I've done my own playthrough and a lot of these quests and a lot of the time I do ignore a lot of these quests in favor of just doing stuff that builds up whatever that character is purely and as I've mentioned in the past as well that also translates to me kind of uh just missing the main quest line entirely and it's also why I don't really rely on shouts at all because I just I never, I never get to a point where I activate dragons and then start getting shouts. It's weird, I know, but I've got that many playthroughs and that many characters where I've done exactly that. Like, it is pretty insane. Don't get me wrong. I agree. But we've just made it to Septimus Cygnus's outpost. Gosh, that was a lot of flight time for Thorian Veralt and me. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to get into Septimus Cygnus's outpost and we're going to turn this in and I, I reckon he's going to have a... I reckon he's going to be chuffed. I reckon he's going to be super duper happy. He's going to be like, wow, you know, you have the thing I've been waiting for so long for you to get and now you got it and oh, how great. But uh, yeah. Before we do that, that is going to have to end today's episode, ladies and gentlemen. I hate to end it like this on a little bit of a cliffhanger and after a whole bunch of travel time. I do understand. I do understand the gripes and complaints that would come along with something like that. But I do intend on, because this is a shorter episode and it's tying in a few different things, I will more than likely release two episodes uh, today, uh, if I remember. That is a huge caveat of the if I remember part. But in any case... If you enjoyed today's episode, please uh, like and subscribe. Please turn on the notification bell. Uh, please leave any comments, any recommendations, or just stop by to say good day because I absolutely love the interactions and I promise I'll get back to every single one of you. But most of all, regardless of whether or not you do anything I've just said, please have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.